Welcome back. Now it's time to install Laravel. And let's see from the official documentation. So if we go to laravel.com and then docs, here we will be installing Laravel version 6, which is the latest version when I was doing this course. So far we have satisfied these server requirements. And we have also installed Composer. And now the next step is to install Laravel. But before we install Laravel, we need first to download the Laravel installer using Composer by running this command. So you can copy that command and then on the terminal, paste, enter. And here, as you can see, it says changed current directory to C and then users, user profile, app data, roaming, and then Composer. That means this is the part that you will install for those who are using Windows. So depending on your operating system, you will see here we have different paths on where it will install. For those who are using Mac OS and Linux distributions, this is the path. And then those who are using Windows, again, this is the path. So depending on your internet speed, this one will just take a few seconds to download. So wait for it. So it has completed installing the Laravel installer. Let's see the next step. So the next step now is to specify where we want to install the Laravel. That is the directory we want to install the Laravel. So I'm just going to install my Laravel project on this directory. That is the XAMP directory and then htdocs. This is where I'm going to install. So what I'm going to do is navigate to this directory using the command or the terminal. So I'm just going to type cd. Xamp and then htdocs. Enter. Alternatively, you can go to that directory and right click and open in terminal. And as you can see, this is the easiest way to do it or to navigate to that directory. Then there are two commands you can use. So once you specify, then you can run this command Laravel new and then the name of that directory that will the Laravel will keep all the project files. So alternatively, you can also use this other command that is Composer create project. We have this command and then at the end specify the name of the project. So we're going to use this one. So I'm going to run Laravel new. And then I'm going to call my project as Laravel dot app. Enter. So it says crafting application. Again, depending on your internet speed, it will not only take a few seconds to complete installing or downloading. So wait for it. So it has completed installing and it says application ready, build something amazing. And that's exactly what you're going to do. So let's see the next step. So finally here we're going to run this command php artisan, which will start the Laravel development server. So copy that command. So we have to navigate to that directory, which has installed the project files. So cd laravel.app and then paste that command, enter. So as you can see here, it says Laravel development server started. So we have to go to this port. Alternatively, you can use localhost colon 8000. So on your browser, paste, and then enter. So as you can see now, we have this page which is displaying on this spot. So Laravel. So that means now Laravel has installed properly. 
so make sure you see this default page for Laravel. So if you don't see this, then it means you have not installed. So to confirm that, we have to go to that htocs directory and make sure we have this Laravel up. And as you can see, we have these project files. So we are now ready to start working with Laravel and see you in the next lecture.